Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Namira Nika Zahra I'm from Junior High Global Summit School to Serkam In this video, I'm going to tell you a story The title is Malin Kundam Once upon a time, in a seaside village in Padang, West Sumatra lived a widow called Mande Rubaya with her only child, Mali Kunda. Mande Rubaya loved her son so much, which turned Malin Kundang a spoiled child. One day, Malin Kundang suffered a severe sickness that his mother gave every cent of her life savings to cure his illness. Days Months and years passed by. Now, Malin Kundang turned adult, and his mother, an old woman. One day, Malin Kundang asked his mother to let him hitch a dog shit nearby and wander to the big cities to get the better fortunes for the family. But Manda denied his request and asked Malin to stay and take care of his mother instead. Mom, this is one in a lifetime opportunity for me. Not every year I ship this large dogs here. I want to take this opportunity to change our fate. Please let me go. Molly pleaded his mother. With a sad heart, finally, Mande accepted his plea. Please, be back soon, my child. I will be waiting for you here. Days by days, pay slowly. While waiting for Malin, Mande Rubaya prayed every single day for Malin to go home safely. She asked to the ship crews and the captains, Malin whereabouts and didn't get any answer and no message for her. Many years full of waiting, now Mandiru Baya grew older and weaker. While she heard the news from the captains that her son is already married to a noble woman and very beautiful rich woman from the big cities. Mande, do you know that your son is already married to the beautiful woman? A daughter of a very rich novel, said the captain. Mande, my son, please be back soon. I'm already old and weak. Please be home soon, my son. Mande cried. Months later, another large ship docked near the village. It was the most luxurious and the beautiful ship Monday had ever seen. And there was a couple walked off the ship with the lustrous and gold and brighter attires. And after seeing the couples, immediately Monday recognized the rich man, rushed to the crowd and hugged the rich man in the lustrous attires. Malin, my son, you're back. Mande cried happily and relieved. Why didn't you send me a message? I'm waiting for you. My son, practically, Malin jolted and pushed his mother away from him and his wife also looked down at Monday without any respect and shout out to Malin and Monday. Is this rumpled old woman is your mother? Why would you lie to me, Malin? You said that your mother is a noble woman like me. Hearing that, Malin Kundam became furious and pushed his mother until fall to the sand and say, You mad woman, I'm not your son. Monday hearing that, 
and song in this week and hope Monday's week. Monday, oh Monday, I hope I've been waiting for you this long. Why won't you do this to me? I'm your mother. Full of anger, Malin kicked his mother away and said, You are not my mother. You are dirty, poor, and ugly. Hearing that, Hunter cried brokenheartedly. I feel so sad, weak, and desperate. While Molly and his mother turn their backs and go to the ship. They sailed away, and the crowds left Monday alone by the shore. And then Monday prayed. Oh God, if he was not my son, I will forgive his action for him to me. But if he was Malin Kundam, I ask you for your righteousness. Immediately, the sky turned dark and the wind blew violently. And the rain fell upon the earth with a destructive storm. And Malin's sheep blazed into pieces. In the next morning, there is a kneeling that believed as the curse of Malin Kundang kneeling for his mother forgiveness until today. So the moral of the story that we got from this Malin Kundang's stories is we have to listen to our parents and we have to always kind to them. That's all from me. Sorry for any mistakes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.